Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to use Google Photos to back up all of your photos on all of your devices for free. And what's great is that this is a universal app, so it doesn't matter if you have a Windows PC or a Mac. How to use Google Photos to back up all of your photos. Coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hey folks, so you know how anytime you go to the doctor, there's usually a bunch of little tests that the nurse tends to run before you actually get to see the doc? Well, whenever I work with a client for the very first time, before we really get into whatever their questions are, I usually like to go through my own little list of things that I just like to check and make sure are set up and working correctly. And one of those things is to have a multiple backup solution in place for the most important thing on your computer, your photos. Now, ultimately, the best backup solution is going to be a combination of both a local backup drive that can be used with Time Machine, at least for those of you who are on a Mac, and also a secondary backup solution that is utilizing one of the various cloud services out there. Basically, the idea here is you wanna have an escape plan for every type of possible disaster or situation. Now, if you currently do not have a local backup drive, I do have links to several of my favorites all on my website. The link is down below. We're gonna start off today's class by going over how to set everything up on a computer, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it on an iPhone. And then finally, at the very end, I have something special for all of you, so I do hope you'll consider watching the entire video. While I'm gonna show you how to set all of this up on a Mac, please understand the installation process is basically the same on Windows, so don't worry, PC people, I've got you covered too. At this point, let's switch over to my Mac. At this point, go into your web browser and visit this address, or if you like, there is a link down below. From here, we are gonna click on this download button over here on the left-hand side. Let me now go into my downloads folder and open up that disk image, which is called Install Photos Backup and Sync. From here, we need to drag this icon from the left-hand side and drop it right on top of the Applications icon. Now, let me go into my Applications folder, and here it is right at the top. Let's now double-click to open it and give it access to my photos. And at this point, you'll need to either sign in or create a Gmail account. The next question is going to ask you if you want it to only back up your photos or other files as well. For this purpose, we're going to tell it to just back up those photos. And on this next screen, you're now going to need to tell Google Photos where your photos are located. For those of you who use a Mac, I'd probably recommend just selecting the actual photos library. Just be aware that by default, it tends to select the entire pictures folder. For those of you who are PC users, at this point, you will just need to direct it to your local pictures folder. And here where it says upload size, I would recommend that you just go with high quality. This optimizes your photos, so it may not be the best option for professional photographers, but for the vast majority of you, I think this is still a great option. And by keeping the quality at optimized, you get unlimited storage. When you're done, just click Start and you'll see the icon appear at the very top right of your menu bar as it begins the process of uploading all of your photos. At this point, let's switch over to mobile and you'll want to start by going into your phone's app store and search for Google Photos. Just to clarify, the name of this app on your computer is called Backup and Sync, but on your phone, it's just Google Photos. Am I the only one who finds that part confusing? Anyways. Once the app is downloaded, just sign into your Google account, and once again, you'll be asked the same questions in regards to upload quality. My advice is that you turn off this feature here so that your photos only upload when you're connected to Wi-Fi. This is especially important whenever you're traveling internationally, since international data rates tend to skyrocket. If this is the very first time that you are hooking your phone up to Google Photos, I'd suggest that you make sure that your phone is plugged in during this process. It can take a while. One last thing before we go. Now that we have backed up your photos, I feel like we should talk about something else that you should also consider protecting, your passwords. Now, I realize this may seem like a slight departure from today's topic, but hear me out. We all know that it's a good idea to have a will in place so that one day when you do in fact pass, there's a plan. When someone loses a loved one and it becomes that person's job to manage and deal with their loved one's accounts, it can be a very frustrating process and literally add trauma 
to an already difficult situation if that person does not have easy access to that person's usernames and passwords. The solution that I recommend for all of this is LastPass. There are two very specific features that I want to quickly highlight. And if you would like to learn more about this app, I have an entire class that you can take. There's a link to it down below in the description, or if you're watching me on YouTube, a little card just flew across my head. Ah, almost hit me there. These two features are the emergency access feature where you can designate a family member who can gain access to all of those usernames and passwords. And you also have the ability to print out a clean and organized list of all of those usernames and passwords. That way you can give a physical copy to a trusted friend or family member. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this class, I hope you'll consider hitting that little thumbs up like button. Leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing and be sure to hit the little bell for notifications when I come out with a new class, usually on Tuesdays, not always, usually Tuesdays, not perfect. This is David Acox with Tech Talk America. I'll see you next time, everyone. Class dismissed.